parts. Hey, I was calling to see, um, I called yesterday about some parts that I had ordered to see if they came in and you told me to give you a call back today. Yes, sir, they're both here. Okay, there should be three pieces. They're all three there? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> yes! Yes! What is going on, guys? And welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Jake just woke up, but we're actually in the process of moving right now, so we have boxes everywhere. We're getting everything packed up. And uh, just a little sneak peek, the car... It's probably going to be back either tonight or tomorrow, so I'm not sure if in this video we'll be getting it back, but bear with me, it will be back very shortly. So first things first, we've actually got some fan mail here, but before I get started on opening that up, I want to make an announcement for everybody that's on the East Coast, particularly in the Boston area. I'm actually going to be at APX Boston 2018 up there in Boston, Massachusetts on September 16th, and basically this is just an event for a lot of the community members to come together and meet your favorite YouTubers, as well as listen to live panels, participate in a car show that they're going to have, and a whole lot more. So if you guys are interested in coming out and meeting me, Sop Kyle, that dude in blue, a lot of other bigger people, make sure you check the link in the description and use the code it's just a six to save an immediate five dollars at checkout on your ticket sale also huge thanks to apx events for putting on something like this this is going to be a blast for me and i know it's going to be cool for everybody else so make sure you go check them out on instagram at apx events now i'm going to go ahead and open up i got two packages that i'm going to open real quick this one is from olympus fitness so let's check out and see what they sent over hey it looks like i got some clothes Mans can't ever have enough clothes. It says, Dear Gavin, we are huge fans of the channel. Been around since the start of the 370. That is sick. That's a long time. Most of you guys on here probably don't even remember my 370. We really hope that you enjoy these. So send any feedback back to us because every little bit helps. That's pretty cool. So make sure you go check out Olympus Fitness Company. That's pretty sick. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. This is pretty cool. Let's check out and see what this says. It's a letter. It says, This is for your R1. Please shout out us. That's pretty sweet. I'm about to show you something pretty funny about the keychain on my R1, and I actually needed a keychain, and I'm going to show you why here shortly. Hang on. Yeah, this is why I needed a new keychain for the R1. They literally just zip tied one of these tags on there, and this thing is worn out like crazy. That's pretty cool. I really like that. Thank you guys. I had to put on this shirt. <laughs> I know what you guys are waiting for. I know you guys want to hear about the Mustang. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Like I said, it should be back tonight or tomorrow at the very latest. And I'm sorry that there has been a delay, but let me explain. Ford, whenever I ordered the new block from them, they forgot that my car was a performance pack and completely forgot to ship the oil cooler with the block. And whenever I went to go order it, it was all the way somewhere like across the United States. The so shipping took almost a week, but we got the oil cooler in just yesterday, brought it over to the guy that's gonna be doing the motor install and everything, and he is actually in the process of dropping the motor into the car today. Like literally as I'm making this video right now, he is 30 minutes away putting the motor into the car. So he told me that it is a high chance that it will be tonight, but if there's any complications or anything like that, it's gonna to be tomorrow. So either way, we are down to hours until getting to pick up this Mustang. It's almost been a month and a half that I've been without it. This has been, this sucks. But anyways, so right now, basically, we're just playing a waiting game, waiting to hear back from the guy that's putting the motor in the car to see if we're going to be able to pick it up tonight or tomorrow. But right now, we're going to take Mia. Cussie. Hey. So right now, we're going to take Mia. She just got fixed recently, so we need to take her stitches out. She's got a bunch of stitches down there under her stomach. So we're going to take her to the vet real quick. Maybe go grab some food and stuff like that and wait until we hear back from him. You going to go bye-bye? You can go bye-bye. Let's go. Bye. I cannot wait to move. We have five more days. It cannot go by quick enough. All right, well, we are on our way to the vet. Uh, it's about a 30-minute drive from where we're at right now, so I will talk to you guys when we get there. freaking out because she knows where we're at. And we're back. Like it never even happened. <laughs> Me, are you good now? It took all of like five minutes. Let's go. All right, we're back on the road. Gonna go drop Mia back over the house and get some food. <laughs> yeah, go pee. All right. Yeah, that was pretty gross. Good girl, she's so strong. All right, you want some food?
Okay. It said what? It said start for vintage right again. We just dropped Mia off from the vet back at home. Oh, that was close to my face. Uh, right now we're going to swap out cars and pick up Jake's BMW once again, and we're gonna go grab some food. We found a new Mexican restaurant by our new apartment, so we're gonna go inspect it and make sure it checks out and meets our standards. It's scared. And uh, hopefully find us a new lunch spot. It's scared. It's more fun to drive a slow car fast than a fast car slow. Oh, it's hot in here. Ah. We're pulling up to a new Mexican restaurant that they just opened up. <laughs> I get scared trying new restaurants sometimes. I just want water. Thank you. Chips are good. Sauce is good. Oh, uh, sure. A little salsa. All right. So, no. My nachos just now, the queso, had consistency of pool water. So. Oh, look. Right there, that is our new place that we're gonna be moving into here in five more days. Let me see if I can show you guys right. Ah, uh, come on. That building right there, that building right there where my finger is, that's the one we're moving into. I cannot wait. We have five days. We are gonna have four garages between all of us. So this is gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. One of the garages I plan on using just for the Mustang and wheels and whatever else. And one of the garages I'm going to put all of the motorcycles in. You guys see that? You know what happens whenever it starts to rain, huh? <laughs> Every single time that we have filmed any type of cinematic video with the Mustang, it has always, always been raining. And it doesn't rain here that often, but somehow, coincidentally, every single time that we film a reveal video, it starts raining. I think that's a good sign. I'm gonna have to really get you to ride with me so you can guide me in case I can't make it from third to fourth. Right. You can you can help me get all the way into fourth. <laughs> uh, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Unfortunately, the car is not ready. They told me that they were having a lot of problems getting the motor stabbed into the transmission and getting them paired up and everything. But he told me that though it's not ready, we're welcome to go over there and check it out and look at everything that's being done. So, let's head on over there. A lot of people have been asking me why it's taking so long to get this motor swapped in, especially if it's at a shop. And people have been saying that if it was their car, they would have been up there raising hell. Well, let me give you a little bit of explanation for that. This guy that has the car right now that is swapping the motor over is very, very meticulous. He takes a long time to do everything, but that is because he goes to every single extra mile to make sure that everything is perfect. So I cannot complain about that at all because that is the exact same way that I am. I wouldn't want to take my car to anybody else, especially if it's something that I can't do. I want to make sure that it's somebody that at least has the same morals and beliefs as me of getting everything to that extra mile and that perfect standard. It has now been six weeks, no, five weeks, I think, without the car. And um, yeah, it's been a really long time, but I'm really glad that I took it to the guy that I did. And uh, we are pulling up here in a second, so I will talk to you guys when we get there. That is the old motor. Yes, not, ready. Yeah. not too much. I can't tell you how excited I am. I'm freaking out. It took all day yesterday. We started at eight and quit at five thirty. Yeah. Everything's just doing it. It's all fine. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. You got that clutch line up there, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm telling you. You don't understand. <laughs> just, I tried so hard to not go to sleep. Yeah, I'm fine as far as that. I don't plan on doing nothing too crazy with it. I'm trying to buy something else. It's going to be pretty cool here soon, anyway. Sell it? No, I'm not selling it. It's the same Yeah. Same thing today or tomorrow, probably. I'm hoping to die. We're about to bust the ass and find <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'll get out of here then. I'll let you know what you're doing. Thank you so much. Now the fun begins. Yep. <laughs> so close. Well guys, you probably heard, but things are getting completely wrapped up on the car and it will be back tonight, possibly in a few hours and at the latest tomorrow. So, I am really really excited now and I know you guys are too so make sure you have your notifications on because the next video is gonna be the return 
of the Mustang. We're gonna be doing motor break-in here coming up pretty soon. Basically, after I get the Mustang back, we're gonna be looking into trying to fix the damage from whenever we hit uh, something in the road and the trailer tire blew out and the fender came off and hit the side of the car. I'm sure you guys saw that in the videos in the past of coming back from the call out and everything. Yeah, so we have a lot of plans for the Mustang. So long story short, next video, you will finally see it back again because I know you guys have been waiting. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to turn notifications on for next video. It's gonna be epic, trust me. And as always guys, till next video.